Hey guys, this is Eli Akins with Booney Boys Outdoors, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to sight in the Spot Hog Fast Eddy XL. This is particular model is the double pin. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get that done. So pretty much just to kind of show you how this sight works and everything, and you're just going to need some Allen keys. It's the only thing. Allen keys and a target is going to be all you need. And so for the base, you're going to see right here, this right here. This spot right here, put an Allen key. This is how you're gonna move your base for your big adjustments. Shooting left, move left. If you're shooting to the right, move it to the right. And this is the micro adjustments. This is how you're gonna micro adjust. Um, there's a little spot on this little top pin right here. And right here, you're going to undo this. And before you shoot, you need to make sure that this dial is right in the middle. So if, whenever you need to adjust to the left, you're going to do reverse clock clockwise and then I think I believe if you're moving it to the right if you, know, you need to move your sight to the right you're gonna go uh, clockwise and that's gonna be for gonna be for your um, micro adjustments and just big FYI just make sure that that is set right in the middle I go ahead and before you shoot it make sure you take that uh, off and make sure this dials right in the middle so you have room to micro adjust to the left and the right and after that, you're pretty much ready to go. And um, so you're gonna probably set your target out about 15, 10, 15 yards and try to go ahead and get your horizontal set and just make some shots, make sure you're on the target, make sure that you have this loosened up and that you are pretty much shooting with this sight as high as it'll go around that area. So you make sure you don't bomb a shot. And then as soon as you get there, um, you're gonna go ahead and if you're missing to the left, move your sight a little bit to the left, just make your big adjustments now. And as soon as you get to 20, then you can start fine-tuning your shots. I personally took three days sighting in my bow because I wanted my first two days I spent just on 20, just making sure that I was exactly perfect on before I started uh, going out to 60 and getting it perfectly sighted in. But for this sight, as soon as you get to 20, you're gonna take, I took three shots and then made adjustments based on my grouping. And so after that, you're good to go. And uh, so you're gonna have your 20. And in the back of your calibration sheet, you're gonna have a calibration um, sticker. And you're gonna, as soon as you wear it's at 20, that top pin right there, or right there to mark, on the right on the top pin, you're gonna put it and line it with the red line on the calibration. And so now you're good to go shoot at 60. So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna slowly just scroll it down, just kind of guessing and hit 30, 40, 50. And then when you're at 60, you're gonna find that number that is as close to the middle as you can, lock it down, take your shots, make sure you're middle, middle, hitting. And then uh, after that, you're gonna get a number. So my number was 23. So I went and found the calibration book and cut 23 out. Before I put 23 on there, you gotta make sure you loosen it up, scroll it all the way back up to that red line and then lock it in place so this doesn't move. Remove the sight tape, and, uh, the calibration sheet uh, piece on and then put in your new um, number that you pulled from the calibration book. And then you're gonna be all set up, just kind of shoot 25, 30, make sure your shots are hitting right where they're supposed to, and they should be, and if not, you did something wrong, and you're just gonna need to probably recite it back in. But that's pretty much the quick and easy way to sight in the Fast Eddy, uh, the Spot Hog Fast Eddy XL. It's been a great sight for me, man. I've loved it and would recommend it to anyone. And you know, I'm wearing a small YouTube channel at the moment, and you know, if, um, it mean a lot if y'all could just like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, y'all have a good day.